Apple announced macOS Mojave at WWDC earlier this week and it comes with some awesome new features like the dark mode, desktop stacks, dynamic wallpaper and a lot more. I mean it's quite impressive. So that got me wondering if you can get all of these awesome features on a Windows PC. Well turns out you can. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and today I'll tell you how you can get the latest macOS Mojave features on your Windows 10 PC. While you obviously can't get all of the features from macOS Mojave, you can get some of the most talked about features. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. macOS Mojave finally brings the much-awaited dark mode and it is beautiful. It changes everything on macOS to an awesome dark shade and I love it. Well, to my surprise, Windows 10 already has a really cool dark mode. All you need to do is go to the personalization settings and then go to the colors option. Here you can just scroll to the bottom and set the default app mode as dark. This changes all of the app windows and stuff to shades of black and grey which honestly looks really good. However, the taskbar and the start menu don't change. But you can just pick a dark color manually and you're all set. So there you have it, a dark mode on Windows that's pretty similar to what you get in Mac OS Mojave. Mac OS Mojave also brings a beautiful new dynamic wallpaper that changes according to the time of the day. It has some really incredible effects and looks stunning. Well, if you want dynamic wallpapers on Windows, first you'll have to download the macOS wallpapers which you can find from the link in the description below. Once you've done that, just create a folder and move the wallpapers here. Also, make two copies of each wallpaper. Once you're done, just head to personalization settings and choose slideshow in the background drop-down menu. Select the folder you just made and set change picture to every 6 hours. Then just disable shuffle and enable allow slideshow when on battery power. That's it, your wallpaper will now automatically change just the way it does on macOS Mojave. The dark wallpaper looks really good, doesn't it? Another thing that's new in macOS Mojave is desktop stacks. These are extremely useful for people like me who have a cluttered desktop because it turns a cluttered desktop into a non-cluttered desktop. So if that sounds like a feature you might be interested in, you can install the Fences app from the link in the description below. Once the installation is complete, the app will automatically categorize all the things on your desktop in these nice looking stacks. If you want a more minimal look, you can enable Roll-Up Fences by double-clicking on any of these stacks title bars. This looks cool, right? I know, it's not the same as Mac OS Mojave, but hey, it's good enough. The app is available in a free trial for 30 days, after which you'll have to pay $10 to get the full version. One of my most favorite and most used features on my Mac is Quick Look, and with Mac OS Mojave, it gets even better and more powerful. Now I can just open an image or a video in Quick Look and even get some basic editing options right there. That is awesome. Well, you can get Quick Look on Windows pretty easily. You can just install this free Quick Look app from the Windows Store and that's it. Now you can just select an image, video, etc. and just press spacebar to get a quick look at the file. The app does not bring the same functionality as Mac OS Mojave, but it's very close. Macs have always had a pretty solid screenshot tool, but in macOS Mojave, Apple made it even better. You now get a nice screenshot HUD at the bottom of the screen with options for different types of screenshots, screen recording and even timed screenshots. It's awesome. Well, you can get almost the same functionality on Windows with an app like TinyTake, which has keyboard shortcuts to take screenshots, make a screen recording and even capture video from your webcam. Plus, like macOS Mojave, once you take a screenshot, it automatically opens up a handy editor where you can quickly annotate it, add text to it, crop it and more. However, if you don't want to install an app, 
the latest Windows 10 builds come with a handy screenshot tool built in along with all the editing features which should be good enough for most people. macOS Mojave brings a number of new features to the Finder like the new gallery view, the ability to see complete metadata in the sidebar and even quick actions, all of which are some pretty handy tools to have. Well, in Windows 10, you can do the same in the built-in explorer itself. To get the gallery view, simply head over to view and enable the preview pane to get a gallery view like look on your Windows PC. Also, you can enable the details pane to get stuff like the metadata for an image or any other file which is something a lot of photographers will find useful. Plus, Windows 2 has a quick actions like contextual feature. I mean, when you're inside a folder full of images, you get picture tools right there. It's really nice. Well, that was how you can get some great macOS Mojave features on your Windows 10 PC. Which features are you looking forward to using the most? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends who are Windows users. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.